What is going on guys? Chris here of Chris Collects bringing you another video. It's that time of month again. Loot Crate time. Here it is. Loot Crate. Um, as usual, I do not remember the theme of this at all. Um, I think there's some Assassin's Creed stuff for like the movie. Other than that, I'm not too sure. Um, so let's check it out. And yep, right there. You have an Assassin's Creed Pop Loot Crate exclusive. It's been a while since Loot Crate has done a Pop exclusive, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's... <coughs> oh, wow. Oh, mine's like destroyed. Cool. Um, it's been a while since they've done a Pop exclusive, but this is... Aguilar Crouching in a Crouching Pose. So I'm guessing the Crouching Pose is the exclusive thing. Yeah, because on the back they show Aguilar standing... <clears throat> so yeah, this is from the Assassin's Creed movie, um, which I haven't seen yet. I don't know if we're going to see. I heard it wasn't that great. And, uh, you know, I used to be a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, but then they started kind of getting crappy, and I don't really like Assassin's Creed that much anymore. So I don't know if I'm going to see it. But anyway, next item, the t-shirt. I think this is that show, Mr. Robot, which I have not watched yet. F Society. I haven't watched it yet. I'm pretty sure that's Mr. Robot, though. I'm not positive. Uh, then we have a book, it looks like. What is this? It's as big as a freaking crate. It's a book. It's called The Figure Fantasy. The Pop Culture Photography of Daniel Picard, with a foreword by Simon Pegg and afterward by Kevin Smith. Huh. Okay. What the heck was that? Ooh, a $25 promo card for Sideshow Collectibles. That's kind of cool. That just fell out of the box there. So this guy looks like he takes pictures of figurines in real life <laughs> situations. And does a bunch of photo editing on it and make them look lifelike. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Um, it's a cool book. So yeah, you get a book. Um, I know not too many people are fans when we get books and loot crates, but I think that's kind of a cool book. We have the Assassin's Creed loot pin. It's actually a really nice pin. Uh, the theme is Revolution, too. So We also have... <coughs> Man, sorry. I'm getting a cough. I don't know if I'm getting sick or whatever. Uh, Firefly Independence Patch. So you have a Firefly Patch. Boom. And that's it for the crate. Um, yeah. That's it. Uh, nothing. Eh, I'm going to say the, the crate was meh to me personally. Um, maybe like two or three years ago would have been super awesome. When I still was like obsessed with Assassin's Creed. But um, yeah, Assassin's Creed has been very slacking for me lately. And I just haven't really been too fond of it. So, the pop, I'm just kind of like, eh. Um, and, you know, I've been trying to trim down my pop collection a bit because it's completely taken over. And I have no room for other stuff that I want. So, because uh, there was a point where I was just buying pops just to buy pops. So, I'm trying to get rid of some of them. But anyway, that's, that's a different story. But yeah, so the Assassin's Creed pop, it's cool, but I'm not, like, super. I still haven't even played the new Assassin's Creed, the Syndicate. Still haven't played it. That came out, like, two years ago. Um, yeah, then there's the patch, which I don't really use patches for anything. Uh, the book's cool, and the t-shirt. I haven't watched Mr. Robot yet, so <coughs> it's just a t-shirt for me. Um, I'll probably, I'm gonna try to watch Mr. Robot eventually, so it might be cool down the road. But yeah, so for right now, it was a meh for me. Um, so that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. I'm always happy to hear from you. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and supporting me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.